Kia ora. I'm joining the Mix It Up Monday blog um, blog and sort of YouTube pop uh, and Instagram and things. Um, it's the first time I've joined in this. It's kind of a new thing I've picked up. Um, my name is Lara, um, known as Scrappy Kia on social media. Uh, and part of this hop is to use this sketch that I've just flipped off the page there and to add in mixed media and to really mix it up. So uh, I am going to mix it up. Now it'll be Tuesday for me. I live in New Zealand by the time this is aired so it'll be kind of like a textured Tuesday or something along those lines um, however it's for the mix it up Monday hop so what I'm doing here is I've grabbed a stencil and I think this is one uh, that I got through close to my heart over a year ago so it's in one of the older catalogues perhaps and I am um, squishing just through some normal texture paste so this is just the matte texture paste and it's just um, yeah, so I'm just putting it through these holes just to try and um, add in that textured background that was kind of part of Mix It Up Monday. And I'm actually really enjoying using mixed media at the moment on a lot of my pages. So I've used the background paper there that I've used um, is, I think, Sage was the colour and I've used the light side of that. Um, and now I've just put through my... Um, die cutting or my embossing machine uh, the manual one normally I'm using my Cricut more than anything um, this gorgeous um, this gorgeous embossing folder here so I just wanted to add a bit more texture and use that it's sort of a challenge um, Virginia on confessions of a paper addict group sort of talked about things that we don't use in our pages very much and for me one of those was actually using um, embossing folders and die cuts and stuff like that just because the Cricut's so easy to use um, and so I use that just with some white daisy cardstock and I don't even know the name of the embossing folder if I can find it I'll add the info in the bottom um, but it's got some gorgeous florals and things on it I'm also going to um, mix in some of the texture paste you can just see to the left there with a little bit of um, a gel a glitter gel and this particular glitter gel is one I love using and I've used it quite a bit um, it has just this little bit of a silvery sparkle and I like the cooler tones and it's a moon dust one and so it's just got the sort of the, um, the clearer clearer crystals and stuff these gels um, come in some really cool ones there's a sort of a moon dust one that's got little gold stars and stuff all through it which is really cool as well but by mixing it with the texture paste it just gives a sparkly lift and so I'm just using a um, another stencil here and this one is a Vicky Boutine one and just love this fonty one I actually feel like I need to make one myself and sort of have a go at designing one so that there's just some different fonts and I know that Close to My Heart also has one with some cool fonts which I think is part of their card stencil collection uh, and adding a few drops of the um, Dina Wakeley acrylic gloss and just dotting that on just to add to that texture background so the background while it is mixed media is a very subtle one just with the use of that sage and then the whites now I'm bringing in um, a couple of different collections here with the papers so one of them is uh, the Sawyer collection which is a gorgeous collection it's got these really soft beautiful colors on it and I do use that in a few different ways during this page and the other collection I'm bringing in is the Chantilly collection which is a bring back your pack collection so close to my heart brings back older packs that they've done in the past every now and then based on um, maker and customer feedback on things that they want to see again so that's all part of this so I'm sort of happy with that paper cluster there so I'm going to do some sticking down just so that it's um, held there and I'm just waiting actually for the background to dry while I work on these clusters and some of these other elements that are going to go onto the page as well now um, the sketch that I had showed you at the start there um, gave me sort of a bit of a guideline for what I was doing so the aspects of that sketch that I am taking into my page I sort of twisted it around so instead of um, instead of the vertical line being sort of to the left of the layout I flipped it all the way around so sort of a 180 turn so it's now on to the right of my layout and the reason I did that was because the picture that you can see there which is some thistles which is a weed um, is they sort of are to the bottom um, right of the photo and it felt better having that empty space going into the middle of the page more than the other way around um, 
and so the thistles and the photo and the reason why I'm sort of documenting this picture is um, on our early morning walks my daughter and I spotted this and I just actually really loved the sunrise uh, in the background and just the sharpness and brashness of those thistles with that beautiful softness of the pink skies so that was sort of what inspired me to take that photo and I just wanted to document that. So I'm now going to bring in a little bit of stamping so I'm using the Sprigs and Sentiments stamp by Close to My Heart and I've just chose a few different um, bits of these these sprigs I guess um, the foliage that I'm going to stamp and I'm using the intense uh, black ink and the reason I've chosen this thing I normally use the archival black it's my sort of go-to but if I'm going to do any coloring or water coloring or anything inside the stamping this works really well because it doesn't um, bleed so it, it stays in place a little bit more um, along those lines so I'm using two of my um, Oh, I've just forgotten the name at the top of my head, my shimmer brushes, um, my shimmer pens here. And one of them is the sage colour, which is the same colour as that background cardstock. And the other one is the rosemary, which is a new colour this year. And so I've just used those two tones and sort of mixed up the colouring of those. And you can see them all finished and fussy cut around down to the left there. Now I've used this cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. Um, I will check the name of that and add that below as well. And I'm going to add that sort of as that circle dimension, as one of the circle dimensions on the page. Now the banner that I've just put there was cut from one of the Sawyer Collection papers. And in the original sketch, there was sort of um, a line down each side of where I did the dotty um, embossing, uh, yeah, the texture paste through. And but I just decided to do the texture paste with that strip, and I've just had one sort of banner strip through the middle of that rather than um, at either side of it. So I'm going to pop the sort of photo cluster there, turning the mat over again. Um, I had the mat turned over because it's got a sort of a good stamping side on the back there, and had used that when I was doing the stamping of those leaves, but um, I find it easier with the measurements sort of to make sure I'm getting things in the right spot using the handy guidelines that are up there. So now I'm going to bring in these leaves and I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow glue behind each one and sort of tuck them in and around the pages as I go. So um, yeah, there's a few different ones and I actually really love how these layers come out and just these couple of clusters that I create with the leaves. And it's kind of cool that um, I made that embellishment myself in a way. Yes, the stamps were there, um, but just being able to add my own color twist to make it fit the page that I'm documenting and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's a fun way to use stamps on your layouts as you go. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop waffling about the stamping side of things. Um, so the photo um, that I've taken, my dad and probably my brother and my brother-in-law wouldn't be very impressed. They'd be suggesting that that farmer needs to get out and grub some thistles. Now, um, the scotch thistle, I as I was sort of reflecting on taking this photo and stuff, the scotch thistle was one... I remember doing some kind of assignment um, around it, about it, when I was at high school, probably way back in third form, which is in New Zealand, that's now year nine that that's called. And I remember something about the Scotch thistle, it's just, and I guess it was probably just something that was easy um, to do some life thing or something. So um, yeah, so the Scotch thistle is kind of a pretty cool, it's got um, prickly bits, but it has quite nice purple flowers if you, um, and wanted to look more closely at them. So the stickers that I've pulled in here are from the Sawyer collection and the Chantilly collection and even a little bit from the As You Grow collection which is an annual collection with Close to My Heart as well. So I'm really happy with that how that is looking and I'm sort of one I sort of thought okay now I've got to add some journaling and because of the texture paste and stuff I did really need to put this journaling on top and so um, yes I've got a sticker there for the date but I decided to use half a sticker that I'd already cut for um, another page it's sort of a doily sticker and I think that was from the Chantilly sticker sheet and I'm just going to pop that down the bottom so the original sketch had sort of two circles there was a top circle to the top um, left of the cluster and one down to the bottom right based on when I turned that sketch around. Um, now I'm just adding some little glitter, uh, some little silver gems 
and some little white dots as well and so really happy with how that looks um, here's a couple of close-ups for you to have a wee look at um, I hope you will look below at some of the other Mix It Up Monday links that I'll share from other people that are joining in on this hop. So there'll be different places that it'll take you to, whether it is Instagram, YouTube or someone's blog. Um, yeah, and I'll try and link below to the different products that I've used and haven't perhaps mentioned as I've worked on this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, I'd love to see a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you're not already one of my wonderful subscribers. Thank you for watching.